Hey everybody, this is a Ghost Fox Tech Review for the Healthy Wiser TDS and EC meter. This little guy here. Now what is TDS? That is total dissolved solids. It measures things like minerals as well as metals and other things in your water to check whether you have hard water or even things like iron and other impurities, particularly if you have metals because the EC on this stands for electrical conductivity. So if you have metals in your water, the secondary test in this is going to find it. So this comes in its own little sort of uh, faux leather case here and inside you have the meter and it's got three buttons on it, the on and off, but also you can uh, press the press and hold the shift there and that will switch over to the electrical conductivity test. You just take the end off and put this in whatever water or other liquids you want to test and it's really easy to use. You just wanna make sure that you kinda uh, wipe it off and clean it off each time. But we're gonna do some tests and kinda see how this works and what kind of levels we get. So we're gonna look at this Healthy Wiser TDS and EC meter. Uh, TDS stands for total dissolved solids and that measures things like minerals as well as contaminants in your water. EC is uh, electrical conductivity which that would really look at things like metal content in your water. So there, it's actually really easy to use. You basically just pull the cover off and turn it on. Now if you want to measure, and it's set to defaultly measure the total dissolved solids, if you want to measure the electrical uh, conductivity, you just hold down um, the other button on it. So I shouldn't really have anything with uh, electrical conductivity, but we can check some of that out. Basically, I have some regular tap water, and this is completely unfiltered. And that comes in at, my tap water is 136 parts per million. Then I have some filtered water from our carbon filter, which should be lower in terms of the, the parts per million. Wow, which actually, it's a little higher. It's, oh, because we have a mineral filter uh, on our refrigerator. So it's actually, because of the added minerals in it, a little higher parts per million. Interesting. Next, I have some salt water, and this should have a pretty high reading on it. Yeah, so it can't even read the salt water. It is just too many particles in there and you get an error reading on it. The next thing I have, and I'm not totally sure how it's going to read this either, it's probably going to be too high again. This is an apple cider vinegar. And actually, it is reading it. It looks like it's at about 17, 1600. It's actually dropping back down. So it's at about 1,400 parts per million for particles in the apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to rinse this off real quick back in the uh, filtered water just to kind of clean that sensor off. So it should zero back out. Yep, back to zero. And the last thing I have is milk. This probably has tons of particles in it, obviously. So we'll see exactly what that comes up at. Oh yeah, way, way higher. So this is at about 27, 2800, yep, there goes to 2800 parts per million, which you would expect in something with all kinds of sugars and proteins and other molecules in it. Anything that high you absolutely don't want with your water, so that's clearly a problem. And you can see that the salt water is just so densely packed with those chemicals that it causes an error in the unit. Now, as I mentioned, to test for electrical conductivity, you can hold this button down. Or was it the shift? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I know I have this somewhere. Okay, electrical conductivity. So in our regular, this is, um, honestly, I'm not exactly sure how this is measured, but it's 305 with the uh, tap water. And that's the uh, per centimeter units. I'm honestly not totally sure how much that electrical conductivity is, but uh, water is an electrical conductor, obviously. It zeroes out when you take it out. The salt water is probably going to give me an error again. Yep, absolutely. ERR. So you cannot measure that. Let me rinse this off again. Make sure I'm back to zero. I'm back to zero. I'm almost back to zero. Let's try the other water. I did get a little bit of milk in there. Okay. Then we have the apple cider vinegar again. That electrical conductivity, much, much higher. So we had 300 over here. This is 2,015 on the scale. So swimming in apple cider vinegar, not recommended in a thunderstorm. Obviously not a good idea. 
Lastly, if you have a swimming pool full of milk, let's see exactly how electrically conductive it is. It's even more conductive. 5,550 approximately, almost 5,600 units. So again, if you are in a thunderstorm and happen to have a swimming pool full of milk, do not swim in that swimming pool because it is extremely electrically conductive. But that's a look at the Healthy Wiser tester for total dissolved solids and electrical conductivity. So that's a look at the Healthy Wiser TDS and EC handheld tester. And as you can see, this thing is really easy to use. And if you're concerned with things like hard water or metals in your water, particularly if you have well water, this is a really good tool to have around. It's really not very expensive and it's super easy to use and it really doesn't take any kind of professional to come out and test your water. So this at least gives you a good idea of the state of your water. Now it doesn't tell you the particular levels of individual chemicals and things like how much iron or whether it's iron or copper in your water, but really nice little meter to have around. So yeah, TDS and EC meter from HealthyWiser. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to give me a little thumbs up or a like and let me know. And as always, I'm happy to answer any questions about any of the tech reviewed. So thanks a lot for watching.